It comes in many different names. Gasification, pyrolysis, waste to energy, energy from waste, and advanced thermal treatment. But what exactly is waste incineration? Is it true that all those other names are just PR terms used to confuse the public to sell different variants of one product, waste incineration, or simply waste burning? We asked an expert to answer some of the most searched questions on Google about waste incineration. Is waste incineration bad for the environment? Waste incineration is not just bad for the environment, it is catastrophic. There are plenty of good reasons why communities around the globe are fighting all forms of waste burning. Waste incinerators are promoted as safe technology when in fact there's no such thing as a safe level for the toxic chemicals it produces. Low level does not mean it is safe for us. Is waste incineration safe? No. Even when governments adopt the best international emission standards, it doesn't guarantee that dangerous emissions aren't being released. Having an incinerator in your vicinity compromises intergenerational health of your community, especially for women and children. Through regular exposure, toxic chemicals from emissions can enter your body through food. Worst, waste incinerators are often built in poorer communities where the residents' concerns are unheard or ignored, adding to the growing inequalities of this world. Is waste incineration recycling or sustainable? Big no. Waste incineration does not qualify as recycling, nor is it sustainable. It encourages the take-make-waste system in an economy where natural resources are limited. In the end, we are blamed for waste creation, for consuming single-use products that should not have been produced in the first place. Big industries create products that are meant to be discarded and then leave them to us to find ways to manage it or else they will burn. Is waste incineration expensive? Oh yes, it's the most expensive way to generate energy or handle and treat waste. It's actually more expensive than operating landfills and will not eliminate the need for them. Unless, of course, you're okay with storing toxic ash around. Incinerators need constant large volumes of waste to operate 24-7. With this, governments are forced to generate more waste or else pay a fine to operators. This diverts taxpayers' money that could have been used for reduction and recycling measures. Once an incinerator reaches its end of life, decommissioning and cleaning up the ash will cost taxpayers a hefty amount of money. In short, waste incineration is not cheap and it is no better than a landfill. Is waste incineration renewable? Is it clean? Municipal waste contains a lot of plastic discards. Thus, it is not a source of renewable energy like the sun or wind, as noted by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change and the EU. Aside from being non-renewable, waste incineration is also polluting our planet, which is now heating up in this climate crisis. Waste incineration versus zero waste. Our solution is zero waste. Zero waste focuses on resource conservation and management rather than hasty disposal of waste. It's all about creating systems and habits for recovering and regrouping these finite materials for sustainability. And it's already happening. Zero waste also comes in different forms. The difference is that zero waste is people-oriented rather than technology-oriented. It puts an emphasis on organizing around communities and designing products according to necessity, durability, and how it fits with respect to the Earth's ecological cycles. So it is clear, waste incineration is not zero waste.